All right, guys, thought I'd do a bit of a video here. Uh, just getting a lot of questions about the setup we've got here on the compound radio. Um, so we got a 95 um, Isuzu radio, uh, 2.8 litre, four cylinder diesel. Um, that's about as far as we go with the stock bits and pieces. Um, so it's a compound turbo. Uh, first turbo is a, or the high pressure turbo is a TDO4. L uh, 14T compressor wheel. Um, then we've got a GT 2871. Um, not a genuine Garrett Garrett copy at the moment. Um, was originally running a Garrett, but we'll go back to one of them eventually. Um, fuel and injector wise, we've got a 12 mil pump head V pump. Um, pump was done by Diesel Australia, um, had a few other modifications as well like uh, governor RPM change, things like that. Uh, injectors, injectors are factory injectors, old style four hole nozzle, um, they've been extrusion honed out to 50% over stock flow and also crack pressures are also increased a little as well. Uh, intake manifold, uh, it's a modified factory intake manifold, just uh, set up for a front mount. Um, so we've got three inch stainless running through to a 600 by 300 by 76 front mount intercooler. Um, just a cheap aeroflow one, nothing special. Um, one other thing, we've also got uh, water methanol injection set up. Um, just running a 50-50 mix of water methanol, don't use it all the time. Um, get around about a 5 kilowatt uh, increase, uh, more so in the top end, above 3000 RPM. Um, as for engine internals, um, we're reasonably stock, we've got um, stock crank and rods, uh, stock early f square bowl pistons. Um, we do have a different cam grinder. Uh, we've got ARP head studs, um, factory head studs. Um, there's no chance that we're going to hold the head on uh, with the boost pressures it's running. Uh, we've got ceramic coating pretty much all around. Piston tops, combustion chambers, ports, uh, exhaust manifold, you can see down there. Uh, silver on the exhaust manifold and a lot of the external exhaust components as well. Uh, a little more information on the turbo setup. Um, so as I said before, we've got a TDO4 and a GD2871. Um, uh, for wastegates, uh, the high pressure side of things uh, is a Turbo Smart uh, 45 millimeter wastegate there. Uh, and for the Garrett, the low pressure side of things is just the factory uh, internal wastegate and an actuator for that. Um, uh, Pressure-wise, uh, at the moment running about 38 psi boost total. Um, it's a reasonably even split between the two turbos. Um, obviously, the smaller turbo comes in, does a little bit more work early on, and then top end, the bigger turbo is probably doing a better share of the work. Uh, but overall, it's all pretty even uh, boost and back pressure uh, distribution between them. That's about it, uh, engine-wise. Um, so the last time I had it on the dyno. Uh, we were 212 horsepower at 3600 RPM and peak torques around 500 newton meters at 2600. Um, uh, behind the engine, got the factory MUA5 gearbox. Um, it's a two wheel drive box, not a four wheel drive box. Uh, in between the gearbox and engine, I'm running a NPC uh, cushion ceramic clutch. Um, it's also been uh, beefed up a little bit with a dual diaphragm spring. Um, so we've got over 2,000 kilos of clamping pressure on that clutch. And I've been through about every type of clutch you can think of on this since the first one I've got to hold. Um, apart from that, uh, that's about it. If you've got any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments.